It's Saturday and Roger's doing the hard stuff again. I, do it. I sure appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> we just got two more cattle panels from Tractor Supply because see this arch? We're going to do two more of those. We're going to put one between these two beds and we're going to put one between these two beds. So this one here, we're gonna grow the Canada Crookneck squash, because they did good for us last year. We grew that on the arch that's up there on the, in the hill garden, the entrance to that area. So this year I'm gonna try it here. And then on one of these other ones, I think it's this one, we're gonna do the little Kajari melons. I'll show you a picture of that when I plant it. I'm going to plant the seeds for that. And then over here, we're going to do a squash called Zucchino Rampicante. And I have never grown it before. I think some people call them Trombocino squash, but um, the package says Zucchino Rampicante. And supposedly, if you pick it early and young, it tastes just like a zucchini. And if you let it stay on the vine and ripen more, then it turns into like a winter squash. So something similar to like a butternut or something like that. Um, and that crookneck squash that we're growing in the center one here, that one is a winter squash. And uh, we really enjoyed it last year. And so, um, Hopefully we can get a lot more of those this year because I plan on canning it this year so that it will last a while. They didn't um, store as well as I would like them to um, last year. And we know that they make a tool that makes this easier, but we don't have one and we don't do a lot of this. So Roger made the pliers work. There you go. <laughs> nice. Is somebody hot? It says it's time to go in dead. <laughs> Working around the... Uh, the borage. <laughs> it's okay. If you mess it up, it'll grow back. <laughs> we don't have a shortage of borage. They're all done. Roger's just finishing up the last couple little clips to secure it. And uh, so now we've got three of these. There you go. I think this is gonna look so cool. I can't wait. And so stay tuned for the next video because I'll be showing you what we are doing with these four beds for this year. 
Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us as we learn to live a more natural lifestyle. I hope you have a blessed day.